Okay, hello and welcome to this unboxing video. This time I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, I don't think I've actually shown these on my channel previously, but these are the Firestorm Armada boxes from Spartan Games. Uh, it's a game I really love. I've played it for years. But uh, This is the Solarian Collective Dreadnought Group. So We are going to get three escorts in here, a couple of SRS tokens, and the Dreadnought itself, which is a beautiful miniature. Um, for those guys who haven't seen Spartan Games' miniatures, I would advise going and having a look on their website and you will see some their, their miniatures are really nice. And they also showed a salute this year the Halo game that they're going to be doing, a Halo Space Combat game, which I'm really excited for. Two of my favourite things, Spaceships and Halo. Okay, so we've got our box out there. And I've already cut the seals on this to uh, make it easier for unboxing, so we'll crack open this box. Okay, so I assume this large bubble wrap tube is the actual dreadnought. And these will be our escorts. I'll take them out of the bag in a minute. And our extra drop-on pieces for our dreadnought and the SRS bomber and SRS fighter tokens. And our little baggie with our base again. So let's set, zoom the camera in and uh, have a look at the components. So, firstly, these are the Firestorm Armada bases. They are clear flight stand peg bases, very similar to the Drop Zone Commander bases and Dystopian Wars bases. A lot of them use this style where you have the little acrylic rods and the, the arcs are etched on the bases. So that's the Dreadnoughts, obviously. It needs two holes to support it and our escorts. And our little corresponding rods, so that's enough for the bases, let's cut those out of the way. And we'll start with the small guys first. There we go. So, these are our single piece escorts, they are resin, this, this you'll need to cut off the end. It's the fill port, and they go that way up. Let's see if we can get this in any closer to this guy. If you look at that, they're all the panel lines are scribed in. Uh, I think I think the Firestorm, most of the Firestorm and new Dystopian Wars miniatures and that are all CAD designed and 3D printed and cast in a resin. But uh, I've only had, I've been collecting Spartan Games miniatures for years now, and I've only ever had one miscast. So their quality control is phenomenal. I've never had any issues, and I've bought tons of models for them. Okay, so in here we have two micro dice for the SRS tokens. Come on, camera, focus. There we are. Two dice for the SRS tokens. Our SRS bomber token, I believe. It is. SRS or SIS? I can never remember which. SRS, yeah. So we have our SRS bomber and our SRS fighters. So this is the bomber. So the dice obviously fit. In there, and then we have our fighter squadron, which is obviously two little Solarian fighters. You can buy these in additional packs, which I probably have to end up buying because I'm currently using the cardboard crowds. And the rest of these components are for our dreadnought. So we have some gun batteries. There's four of those. They're all the same. And our actual come on camera, our actual engines. Solarians have these sort of radial engines. They, they all have a very similar sort of engine design. Let's uh, crack over this large tube with our giant dreadnought cigar. The Solarian ships do look like giant cigars. But, uh, oh, uh, <laughs> I, I'll actually uh, zoom this out because the camera's actually in far too close for that. There we go. This guy is a very, very long model. Uh, actually, I'm not actually quite sure exactly how long this guy is. Let's measure him. From nose to tail, he's six inches. That's a very big model. Okay. You can insert all your innuendos you want there. Yeah. So, obviously, we've got all the little cannon ports. The bigger ships have these sort of batteries down the sides. Basically, this is essentially two battleships that they've taken the lower hull off a battleship and sandwiched the two forward hulls of a battleship together and then put this humongous lance cannon in the front 
and then at the back, as we get towards the back, this is where these little gun platforms slot in. So then, then ones at the top slot in that way, and that one sort of slots in at a slight sort of angle in there. And then obviously where this port would be, you would have to uh, cut this off. I would use a saw, a micro saw, to saw this off and sand it smooth. And then you would then attach said engine piece. Um, for the guys out there that are interested in this game or um, any of the other Spartan games, there is uh, Planetfall, which is the new Firestorm Armada. Firestorm, sorry, Firestorm game Planetfall, which is ground combat and aerial combat. There's also Uncharted Seas, which is a fantasy naval warfare game, and Dystopian Wars, which is a steampunk land, sea, and air sort of game. So, for oh, and there's also Dystopian Legions, which is a 28 mil uh, skirmish game. So, this is a look at the Firestorm Armada Solarian Dreadnought group. If you would like to see more videos on um, any of the Spartan games, Dystopian Wars, or Firestorm Armada, please pop it in the description below and I will try and see what I can do. So until next time, thanks for watching guys, and I'm going to get to building this lovely piece of kit and uh, scare my opponents at the local gaming club. Thanks for watching, and until next time, happy gaming.